King, so the crowd have been waiting for that for a long time, and you know, yourself and Richard in that starting lineup delivered a try pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit of a shock, you know. Um, I think we were really ready for the game. We were trained well. Uh, you know, a good team out, you know, a whole good squad out. So to get the sort of a early set piece on and to get a penalty and I was sort of walking away ready to take the three points. But, you know, Billy sent us back up there and, you know, we're lucky to get the penalty try. So uh, it just shows our intent, the work that we've put in, but, you know, it's far from perfect. And how pleasing was the kind of overall forward performance? Because, you know, there's driving line outs as well, which bared a lot of fruit. Yeah, it was okay, you know, it's something we focused on this week was just purely set piece you know line up driving kick off scrum you know and the defense of the line out so yeah i think it ticks a lot of boxes we're quite happy with everything but we know you know it's far from perfect one for you personally as well how much you enjoy that kind of first run out of kingston it was good good crowd you know they said twelve and a half thousand which is a massive crowd um, just for a friendly so you know I didn't want to try and get caught up too, you know, emotional about the first game, this and that. You know, for me, it was just sort of going out there, you know, trying to hit a few rucks, get a few scrums under my belt and just build for that Northampton game. How was, have you settled in? How was the movement for you so far? Oh, it's been good, you know. I've only been here early days, sort of six weeks, but, you know, everything's sort of fallen into place. Um, you know, the kids are sort of into school, we've got accommodation and, you know, the rugby, rugby's been really good, so, uh, so far we're happy. I see your family's moved over here. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, they were in Belfast for a year and a half. Um, we had a, got pregnant with our third child and she just went home to New Zealand to have it, just, you know, with family support and stuff like that. When you're a bit of a, living on the other side of the world, it's always a bit tough, you know. Um, the local boys here, you know, they just drop the uh, kids off at their, their parents' house or grandparents. So and you lose that network straight away. But you, know, you build it over time. But um, so far, it's been quite good. Were you a bit surprised to, when you left Ulster to see David Humphrey's episode? Oh, I know, yeah, my mate David. So, you know, signed and I was happy and everything was great. And then they said, oh, look, they're going to sign David. And I, I was a bit of a shock, not so that he was coming over, but more so that he was leaving Ulster. You know, he'd done so much there, born and bred. And, of the new stadium and all that, but you know, like everything, it's a professional sport, and you, you know, look for opportunities when they come arise. So, you know, he's been good for us. You know, bring a lot of structure. I got a good uh, working relationship with him as well. So, if I need things or, you know, like time off for the first day of school, you know, I can just go to David straight away and hit him up. Were you starting to bring your time to your an end to your time in Australia? It was. It was. It was funny because you know, two and a half years is not that long, but. We had done so much and some real good friends over there that I left there and a couple of Kiwi boys and um, we played some good rugby but never quite got to where we were. So when I look back, it's, you know, and enjoyed my, my retirement, you know, immensely, but it's really sour taste from those boys down south, Leinster, that, you know, knocked us out of sort of two finals back to back and then the old Saracen saga. So, um, you know, it's definitely memorable. I really enjoyed my time and Fingers crossed I can get over to Ravenhall one day if we're in the same pool. Does, does it feel like there's something building here? There's an like, amazing front row yourself and Richard there and Murphy as well. The amazing squad here as well. Oh, you know, it's it's a great squad here. You know, that, you know, very fortunate, you know, when I sign and then they see the other players that are staying on and the guys that are coming in and then the coaches we have now and with David here and, you know, the whole support system, you know, 12,500 fans for pre-season. So the fans bring, you know, a massive impact to the team, you know, the people in the offices, you know, the groundsmen, the people at Harpery that work with us. So it's such a great uh, culture here that we're trying to build. Everything's here, but it's just now about performing and playing well. Have you ever played before, actually? Yeah, we played uh, a Barbarians game against Ireland a couple of years ago. I was lucky enough to be part of that team and got a lucky one there against the Irish boys. So. Yeah, it's something that's playing in front of the shed, I'd imagine. It's pretty noisy today. It was, it was. You know, I was telling Billy like not to run so fast next time across the front because I was sort of still warming up. But, um, you know, a massive crowd. And, you know, it's a pity we're away first game, but I'm sure that first home game you know, is going to be something cool.